Hello, and welcome to a short little video of mine. I have some more substantial projects coming down the pipeline, but this game here, Urbex City Builder, grabbed my attention. Considering I just very recently finished up my series on the SimCity games, I thought it would be a good idea to give my thoughts on this new city builder that just recently entered into the fray. Urbex was released two days ago, as of recording this on July 13th, 2022. It was developed by a Chilean game developing company known as Studios Kremlinoid, and it was published by a Polish game publishing company, Rock Game. This won't be a super in-depth review of the game, but I hope to touch on a few surface level things here and there just to give you an idea of it. The general idea of this game is that you're developing a city from the ground up, starting at a small village and eventually working your way to a metropolis. There are lots of different options available to you as far as maps, but most of them are locked away until you win at the maps before them. What does winning mean exactly? Well, to win a map, you need to get three stars on it, and to get one of those stars, you need to follow a set of achievements that generally trend your city to developing a certain style. There's a path of leisure, a path of productivity, and a path of wealth. Once you complete all three paths in different runs, you've beaten that map. Now, what makes Urbeck different than, say, SimCity or City Skylines is that it's more of a resource management type of city builder. There is no money, but rather you accumulate different types of resources, including food, wood, unskilled labor, skilled labor, iron, power, and so on. And in order for your city to develop, Buildings need to have certain criteria met. They need power, parks, education buildings, food services, etc. What I like about this game is that it's all fairly obvious how it works. You just click on a house, click on the upgraded style you're hoping to upgrade to, and see what requirements you're missing. All of the requirements are range-based, meaning that as long as you have X number of parks, for example, within a building's radius of however many tiles, you'll satisfy the requirement. It's all incredibly transparent. The tutorial in this game also does a fabulous job of walking you through everything. This here is the second city I've built, and I feel like I already have a very good understanding of how this game works. It isn't nearly as complex to get into as games like City Skylines, which isn't really a good thing or a bad thing, since sometimes I want something more complex, but I would put Urbeck more on the relaxed side of city builders which is nice when you're looking for something that's easy to pick up and put down when you're a rather busy person. Just to give you an idea of what a more developed city might look like, this here is the first city that I worked on, or I spent a couple hours on it. It's certainly not a massive city, but it does give you an idea for how the buildings do dynamically develop. As you can see in this industrial sector up here in the north, they've created more tenement block style housing. Then, over to here, you see the absolute mess of farms as I was trying to find the most efficient way to produce food for my people. Your first time going through this game is certainly not going to be the most efficient by any means, but it is going to be a very enlightening experience as you figure out how everything works with each other. On a more subjective opinion side, I also really like the way this game looks. The stylized and blocky aesthetic keeps it all very simple and easy to tell what's going on, but it doesn't feel too sparsely populated. I've not gotten to any sort of metropolis level of cities yet, but I honestly can't wait until I am. The way that buildings are dynamically upgraded and built is such a unique and interesting mechanic that I haven't seen many games do, let alone do well. Then there's the music. which I just find phenomenal. It has that sort of urban jungle, industrial feel that I really liked in the SimCity 3000 and 4 games. All in all, I would definitely recommend checking this game out. It's $17 right now on a small sale since it was just released, but I would definitely say it's worth it. So, go check it out. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed my video, and subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on to see more of my content. Leave a comment with your thoughts on this video or topics for the future, and if you're interested, I've also made plenty of other videos, so go check those out too. This has been Historical Hindsight, and I'll be seeing you soon.